Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Clear Lake. Thank you, Iowa. Wow. What a reception. You know how to make somebody feel welcome. I'm going to have to keep coming back up here. I'm so glad to be with you. If you haven't been following our campaign yet, my name's Pete Buttigieg. Most people just stick with Mayor Pete. And I'm running for president because I think our country is running out of time. But I also think it's not too late. We're living in a moment that's even more serious than what the Trump presidency represents. Because you've got to ask yourself, how does a guy like Donald Trump ever get within cheating distance of the Oval Office to begin with? That doesn't happen in ordinary times. It happens if we're already in crisis, and we have seen it. We've seen it in my part of the industrial Midwest. We've seen it in my generation, living with school shootings and climate change and an economy that doesn't work for most of us, where GDP can go up, stock market can go up, and life expectancy can go down tells you something is deeply troubled in this country. And it means we're not going to be able to fix it by recycling the same arguments that have dominated Washington for as long as I've been alive. We've got to do something completely different. Now, I'm excited to be in this part of Iowa because this is a great place to remind the country and each other that there is no such thing as a permanently red state or county or precinct. But we got to find a new vocabulary, and the times we're living in call on us to organize around our values. So now is the time we break down the idea that values is a conservative idea, especially in our times. Values like freedom are not conservative values, they're American values, and today they have progressive implications. We're the ones ready to secure freedom in a world where freedom requires that you have access to health care. That's freedom too. Not just cutting a regulation somewhere. Freedom comes by way of education, which is why we need a Secretary of Education who actually believes in public education. You're not free in this country if you're not able to organize for a good day's pay, for a good day's work. That's why we stand with organized labor. And women are not free in this country when their access to reproductive health is being dictated by male bosses and male politicians. So don't let anybody tell you that the other side is the party of freedom. And the same thing, by the way, goes for patriotism. We're going to break that spell that has people thinking that the flag belongs on one side of the aisle. The the flag that was attached to my shoulder when I stepped off of that C-17 in Afghanistan was not a Republican flag, it was an American flag. <laughs> Symbolizing, among other things, the idea that we are able and indeed sometimes required to be critical of our leadership. And when we do, nobody will question our loyalty to the republic for which it stands, let alone tell us to go back to where we came from. Let's talk about patriotism. Let's talk about national security. There is no national security when we don't have racial justice, let alone when we have a president who is coddling white nationalists. White nationalism is a national security threat to this country. We've got to name it for what it is, and we've got to fight it. So is climate disruption. That's a security challenge. So is cybersecurity and election security. And we're not going to meet these 21st century challenges with a 17th century solution like building a wall. We're going to do something different. Now, I've got about 30 seconds left, so let's talk about political strategy. If we want to win, we can't look like we're the party of back to normal. What we have now isn't working, but normal wasn't working either. That's part of how we got here. 
And we're not going to win going on this president's show and trying to compete with him. Because on his show, and I don't know what to call it, a horror show, a reality show, a couple other words come to mind that I can't say in polite company. But if you're on his show, even when you're winning, you're losing. Which is why what we're going to do is pick up the remote and change the channel. So can I count on you to help us change the channel? Can I look to you to help us win not just the era, but the future of this country? And are we willing to do it in the name of our values? Then with the fire in our belly and with the hope in our hearts, we are going to fix things in this country. We're going to do it together, and I am proud to do it with you every step of the way. Thank you, Democrats, and I'll see you on the trail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.